everyone and welcome to Live at Four on this Friday. It's a really good day to just sit at home and cozy up yeah. with the charcuterie board, don't Why, you think? Yes, yeah. yes, all the meats, all the cheeses, whatever mm -hmm. you like. Craft singles, if in a okay. pinch. Okay. Yeah, you have. You're doing something with charcuterie boards. I am. Some friends are having a Christmas party, and that's uh -huh. the theme. So I'm doing like one of those trees, like a tower. Wow. It could be terrible, but if it's nice, I'll send you a photo. <laughs> okay, please do. I think we could all use a little yeah. joy of charcuterie board. You can sure. come and help okay. put it together I'll if you'd just, like. I'll just watch. Okay. All right, well, topping our headlines today, it looks like it's going to be a rather slippery commute. Julian Seawright is in the backyard patio to time out the incoming snow. And the dust is settling after a heated midterm election in Wisconsin. Now Republicans tapped a longtime party figure to lead their party into a fresh start. And President Biden is touting the PACT Act, expanding health care for veterans exposed to toxic burn pits. We'll explain the administration's efforts to raise awareness on this new law. The streets are expected to be slippery again for the evening drive, so drivers should take it slow when they go home. With the forecast calling for scattered light snow showers before midnight, city plows will be out throughout the evening and night clearing roads. Starting in the afternoon, they begin servicing salt routes and will do so as snow continues to fall. Crews will also work overnight to push snow back to curbs in areas where vehicles aren't parked on the street. Well, let's take a look outside. Some people are enjoying all of this uh -huh. snow. A nice little <laughs> snowball fight. Oh, decorative snow. Yeah, it is pretty That's out there. That's what you call it when you don't have to drive in it, yes, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> nice to look at. look at it. Julian, I know you, you appreciate that decorative snow. Absolutely. I mean, it's hard to see behind me, but it is flat out gorgeous on our weather patio because of all this snow. It's really decorative. It's not overwhelming like we've seen over the past couple of days and even last week, but we are going to continue to see these light flurries and snow showers throughout the rest of tonight. So things can get slippery if you have to drive in it. But outside of it, definitely just have some snowball fights and enjoy this wonderful snow that we're having for our Friday. Taking a look at our radar, we can see onto the eastern side of Madison's where we're picking up a bit of some heavier snow, but it's still all rather light. We're not looking for heavy wet snow for tonight or for the rest of the evening hours that's going to be impacting us. Instead, it will be light flurries and light snow showers, and it's looking to end rather close to midnight for tonight. Now, live look outside. We're still not seeing sunshine, but we did have a small glimpse of it earlier this afternoon, so if you were able to see it, you had a gift because we are now on to day 10 of overcast here in southern Wisconsin. Throughout the rest of this evening, temperatures will be steady into the middle 20s. And a good news is this weekend, we will have the opportunity of seeing some sun. We'll get into that forecast in just a few moments. But for right now, we are looking at slow spots and an accident on the western side of the Beltline as of right now. So make sure you're planning ahead if you are going to be traveling this evening because we are looking for those slippery conditions. And even when I was driving into work, I was sliding just a bit as well. So make sure that you're giving yourself extra time and taking it slow. And along the interstate, we're also looking at a bit of some slow spots in the north and southbound as well. We'll take a look at the weekend forecast in just a few moments. Until then, back to you guys. Julian, thank you. The dust is settling after a heated midterm election in Wisconsin, one where Republicans didn't get near their statewide goals. Well, now they've tapped a longtime party figure to lead them into a fresh start. Naomi Coles joins us to explain. Brady, the chair of a state party really sets the key strategy for how the party campaigns and to some degree also wins and losses can at times be blamed on that strategy. So the party electing Brian Schimming this past weekend is significant. He's a 30 year veteran of Wisconsin politics. He has a history in grassroots campaigning and he comes to the position having successes in working across the aisle. Could that mean a change of tone going forward? He says maybe. I think the tone is driven uh, by meeting the voters where they are, which Tommy Thompson was always very, very good at. It's why he had a record of long success as governor and, and as a public figure here in Wisconsin. So to me, at its very core, politics is a business of addition. It's not a business of subtraction. The reframing Republican success in Wisconsin is based on a lot of factors. We'll explore those in more depth in our full interview that's airing this Sunday on For the Record at 1030. So where would you say are the big gaps for the state Republican Party and the state Democrat 
party and how they operate right now? The first big thing I would say is in fundraising. So for the last several years, especially in the last kind of four years where Wisconsin Democrats have gotten a lot more success um, in Wisconsin and Wisconsin statewide wins, there's a huge gap. I'm talking tens of millions mm -hmm. of times in fundraising. Wisconsin Democrats are just extremely successful at it. Wisconsin Republicans are too, but there's still this big gap. And that's one of the things that Shimming says he really has to tackle going forward to the next uh, couple years before 2024. The other big thing which they've actually addressed as of this past weekend is for the longest time, Wisconsin Republicans have not had a paid party chair, and the chair, as I mentioned, is very important. He helps set the strategy for um, for elections in for his party in Wisconsin. And so Ben Wickler, who is the chair for the Wisconsin Democrats, he makes like 200 grand. Mm -hmm. um, he's a paid full-time position. And so just this past weekend, they uh, the state party Republicans voted to make their chair a full-time paid position, and that can make that could be a real difference maker going into the next two years. So what's the track record over the last few years? for Republicans in Wisconsin? On a, on a district level, they do well, right? They control the legislature um, by a very large margin. That, of course, is in part thanks to the maps, uh, the district maps in Wisconsin. But they really have not done well on a statewide level. Uh, 2016, Wisconsin voted for Trump um, in Wisconsin. 2020, that did not happen. It went to Biden by about 20,000 votes. They've lost the governorship for the last two cycles. They, again, uh, over and over, even w when you look at state Supreme Court races, they've been losing their state several of their statewide races over the last four years they have lost more than they've won to Democrats and so it's not that they're failing again on a local level they're doing very well but they really if they want to see success going forward in Wisconsin they have to work on those statewide races oh, wow. all right Thank you very much, Thank Naomi. you. Absolutely. A former Dane County deputy who was fired after faking an attack at a state park has pleaded guilty. Court records this morning show Sarah Bortz Rodriguez pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor count of resisting or obstructing an officer. She was accused of lying about being attacked at Fesky Park in Cross Plains in October of 2021 and then lying to the department's investigators about it. The sheriff's office says dash cam video showed Bortz Rodriguez cut herself and was not attacked. She was fired from the sheriff's office about a month after that incident. Family is visiting Badger Prairie Needs Network. We'll have fresh meat for the holidays thanks to Darren Kittleson of Generations Beef. The Mount Horeb farmer donated 1,000 pounds of beef to BPNN today. The meat couldn't come at a more critical time as area food pantries are seeing record numbers of households facing food insecurity due to rising prices and inflation. We're so much more than a food pantry. We offer a Saturday meal for the community and that helps fill the gap on the weekend for meals. We offer legal advocacy, job training, nutrition education. We have social workers from Joint Forces for Families available online and we even have ladies that'll mend clothes for people. As inflation has driven up food costs, the need for food assistance has also increased dramatically. BPNN is expected to serve 36,000 individuals in 2022, an increase of 84% over the previous year. Sourcing food has also been a challenge for food pantries, which relies on partners such as Second Harvest Food Bank and area grocers such as Festival Foods and Costco. The pantry serves all of Dane County and is one of the busiest in the area. A local Madison Tap Room is changing hands. Funk Factory Gazaria will become Black Rose Blending Company next month. Levi Funk has operated the Funk Factory since 2015, but he says he's selling the bar and brewing equipment to longtime employee Kyle Metz. We will primarily be rooted in doing like the funky, like barrel aged sour beers, farmhouse, saisani type of stuff. Um, but I also want to. Uh, kind of explore like the natural wine and the cider worlds. Uh, that's kind of where my own interest has has been headed. The Funk Factory Tap Room will be open for normal hours Thursday through Sunday through its holiday party on December 30th, after which it will close until renovations are completed. The White House is working to raise awareness about the PACT Act, which was signed into law this August. It greatly expands health care benefits for veterans exposed to toxic burn pits. The president spread that message today at a National Guard Center named in honor of his late son, Beau. Skyler Henry has more details from the White House. 
It always leaves me with a little bit of a lump in my throat. President Biden hosted a group of veterans at the Bo Biden National Guard and Reserve Center in Delaware to talk about the benefits of the PACT Act, a law expanding health care for veterans exposed to toxic burn pits in Iraq and Afghanistan. We have a lot of obligations as Americans. We only have one sacred obligation. Let's prepare those we send to war and care for them and their families when they come home from war. Congress passed the bill this summer with overwhelming bipartisan support, but it took years of fighting, even some public shaming from a well-known comedian to get the job done. I made it real clear to the United States Congress, if they didn't pass this damn burn pit bill, I was going to go on holy war. Not a joke. And I want to thank, we have, we have to thank someone for this. It helps a great deal. It's not here. John Stewart. The VA is reporting very high levels of toxic exposure for the Iraq and Afghanistan veterans. In a pilot screening program with more than 19,000 veterans, 37% came back with concerning levels of exposure to toxins. Why should the burden be on the victim to demonstrate the problems they've suffered since then? Roughly 2,500 VA claims filed so far are from veterans who say they are terminally ill. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. The VA began processing claims December 12th and will be able to finalize decisions beginning January 1st. The administration says it is prioritizing cases for those with terminal illness. Johnson Sausage Shop is issuing a voluntary recall of a number of its packaged pork products that are sold in retail stores and farmers markets, as well as wholesale. The recall includes ham, bacon, and pork chops. The items were sold at a number of farmers markets and retail shops, including Johnson Sausage Shop, Two Creek Farms, Vindicator Brand, and Wisconsin Meadows. No illnesses have been reported, but officials say the products could make you sick. For a full list of recalled items, look for this story on channel3000.com. Passengers traveling through Dane County Regional Airport were blessed with live holiday music today. Today was the first day of Tunes in the Terminal. The program showcases performers from throughout South Central Wisconsin so the public can delight in the sights and sounds of the season. We acknowledge, you know, some passengers uh, find travel stressful, so uh, this is just a great opportunity to come by, you know, have a seat. We have seats here. You can sit back and listen to some music. We have over 10 performances over the coming days. All of the information is on our website. Today, bands from the Wayland Academy, Wanakee High School Jazz Band, and Glacial Drumlin Middle School Sizzling Strings Orchestra performed. The community is also invited to participate in the sing-along tomorrow at 11 a.m. You don't need to have a reason to be at the airport. The sing-along is open to the public. A lot of happy faces in that airport Very today. Very much so. Well, coming up next on Live at 4, there's a growing fight right now over one of the nation's most popular social media apps, the China-based platform TikTok. At least 14 states have taken action to ban TikTok from government workers' phones, citing security and privacy concerns, and that's happening at the federal level as well. Don Stanley from UW-Madison joins us next to discuss. Watching News 3 Now, live at 4. Go farther with personal checking choices. At Starion Bank, you make the decisions. Your money, your style. Apply online in just four minutes at StarionBank.com. There's no place like home for the holidays, but it isn't quite the same when your house is cold and drafty. We want everyone to have the gift of a warm and comfortable home. So we're going to match the $500 energy tax credit with a $500 discount. But you have to call us before December 31st. 2023 is the year to stop freezing and start saving. So give yourself the gift that keeps on giving because you keep saving. USA Insulation. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. 
because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Get in on the action of the game with the Island Sportsbook. Browse the latest lines and betting options. Make your wagers and cash in on the fun of the Island Sportsbook. And here's another good bet. Island Resort and Casino gift cards. Treat the golfer on your list to a stay and play package on championship courses. Gaming, dining, entertainment, there's something for everyone with Island Resort and Casino gift cards. Oh, what fun to experience more at the Island. Tobacco can end lives long before it kills you. Quit today so you have a tomorrow. Call the Wisconsin Tobacco Quit Line at 1-800-QUIT-NOW. Go farther with personal checking choices at Starion Bank. Like smart checking, it's free when you choose e-statements. Your money, your style. Apply online in just four minutes at StarionBank.com. Your wallet is likely taking a hit this holiday season. But prices at the pump are providing some relief. Gas prices have dropped again, falling to a 15-month low. AAA reports the average cost for a gallon of gas is now 318. That is 14 cents lower than the previous week and 50 cents lower than a month ago. 19 states now have an average gas price of under $3 a gallon, including Minnesota, Ohio, and Colorado. The average price for gas in Wisconsin is 280 a gallon. Well, well, investors are fearing a recession and that drove prices down on Wall Street today. The Dow closes down almost 282 points. The Nasdaq lost 105 while the S&P index was off 43. Okay, so TikTok has seen itself become a controversial place over the past two years. From Republicans saying it has controversial content that involves drugs and alcohol to stories about businesses that blow up overnight mm -hmm. on the social media app. But it may not be long for this world after lawmakers have been petitioned to take it off of stores entirely, calling it a matter of national security. Don Stanley, a social media expert from UW-Madison, joins us now to break all of this down. Thank you yeah. for joining Absolutely. us. Absolutely, my pleasure. So do lawmakers actually have a good point in terms of national security? Yes, they actually do. If you look at the number of ways that, uh, the amount of content that can be collected with different social media apps, there's a lot of information that's collected about us. Um, one of the biggest causes of concern concern is that TikTok is a China-based company that has connections with the Chinese Communist Party. And some of the concerns are what type of content is being fed to people in the West who use TikTok versus people in China. The differences in the algorithm and the content that they're seeing is pretty stark. And it could be pushed and manipulated. And I think that's one of the biggest causes for concern. Yeah, is that something for people to realize, like when you're watching, you know, the, the cat videos, the dancing videos, or putting in your information? I mean, you're kind of risking a lot by giving that up. Absolutely, and that's true of it, pretty much every social network. But again, one of the unique situations with TikTok is that because China is essentially a geopolitical adversary, um, there's concern about um, what they might do with that information sure. and what they can collect on us. So I think it's it's a unique situation that definitely is going, we're gonna see a lot more about this in the next couple of months. Yeah. Is there a safe way to navigate with TikTok? You know, one of the biggest challenges with TikTok, and I think this is uh, goes to how the algorithm works in China. If you're 14 and under in China using the TikTok app, you're only allotted 40 minutes a day to use the app. It only runs from 6 a.m., opening hours at 6 a.m., closes at 10 p.m. And what you're fed in that algorithm are information about science experiments, museums, cultural information, things that are uh, pro-Chinese in their, in their sentiment. What you see in the West is very different. And so 
some of the causes of f concern from different experts are like, you're getting the fruits and vegetables version in China, in the West, you're getting the opium version sure. that wow. can be super addictive, yeah. it's never off, and slowly over time, the content that you can see is customized to you. So there could be some concerns about seeing things that might pop up that might be politically divisive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think for this particular conversation, uh, Governor Kristi Noem in South Dakota was the first, to my knowledge, to bring this up and ban it in the state for government employees and other people followed suit. Do you think that policing social media will continue to be a political talking point uh, the next election and further on? Yes, I think it will. And I think in a lot of ways, if you study the advent of different technologies, whether it's radio or television, these existed and over time as they were around, regulations came into place because they realized how they could be misused. And I think we're at that place with social media. Uh, next month, Facebook turns 19 years old. It's still wow. relatively new as a technology. Mm -hmm. So how do we police and what do we allow and what do we allow these companies to collect? And then how do we know how those companies are using that content are all things that I think need to be solved regardless of political perspective. It, it never goes away. No, no, mm -mm. no, it does not. And that's right. for sure. Thank Donald you very Stanley, much. Thank you very Absolutely much for joining us. Coming up next on Live at Four, the holidays can be a pretty tough time for many in the military. We'll introduce you to some groups that are trying to bring everybody a little bit closer this December. of us are feeling the economic crunch and News 3 Now wants to help those who are in need this holiday season. News 3 Now and SSM Health presents the 12 Days of Giving. Through the tremendous generosity of area businesses and volunteers, we want to make 12 wishes come true. If you're in need or know someone who is or may want to help make a wish come true, go to channel3000.com and fill out the application. News 3 Now's 12 Days of Giving presented by SSM Health. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. My favorite thing about the Power Swabs is that I was actually able to take the swab and really get through some of those areas that are kind of like untreated. I felt like I, I can immediately see the results and I'm like, oh, I'm definitely starting to see the shades getting brighter and brighter or whiter and whiter. If you have yellowing between your teeth, if you have coffee or tea stains near your gum line, just just snap, swab, and smile. And in each five-minute application, you'll see whiter teeth. So stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays and start using the Power Swabs five-minute solution. After just seven days, the results were awesome. Power Swabs was easy to use every day, and each day I could see it better and better. And from beginning to end, it's definitely whiter. Uh, and they look clean. They feel clean. And people have made comments about it, which is nice. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. This holiday season, order Power Swabs and receive up to 40% off. And as an added bonus, get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 40% on your purchase and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen screen or visit powerswabs.com today. Now take a look at this, this holiday season. Be careful what you wish for, especially for one TikTok mom who, <laughs> when attending her young daughter's school holiday recital, told the girl that she needed to smile more. Well, as most parents know, if you ask your kids oh, to do something serious, no. 
You could get something snarky <laughs> like that instead. Well, she is smiling. That's true. She spent the whole show sporting that over-the-top smile that was as hilarious as it was horrifying. The terrifying toothy grin downright stole the spotlight. Oh, wow. The mom says she knows women hate being told to smile and suspected other parents may have been upset, but she said she can't even be mad at her daughter because she's never <laughs> laughed so hard in her life. Oh, it's, my gosh. Yeah, she, she showed mom. She she did. Yes, she did. <laughs> did you ever have any experiences like that, telling like your kids to smile? And, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I get that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've done that to it. Like, and I'm just even like, okay, now. never mind. Forget the never smile. <laughs> <laughs> you just be in the back. Yeah. Well, she got what she asked for. <laughs> that so. is true. Well, guys, do you know what day it is? Uh huh. It's, it's Friday. Friday. And we're going to be breaking down the weekend <laughs> forecast coming up just after the break. So stay tuned, folks. your energy, inspiring a spark of creativity, working hard to reach your goals, thinking outside the box to bring your vision to life. At Alliant Energy, we're creating more clean, renewable energy every single day to power what matters to you. Because even during the most powerful moments in our lives, we're not thinking about power, we're thinking about a brighter future. Alliant Energy, powering beyond. Ready, Dad? All charged up. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright with a special offer. Now, choose from a great selection of new Ford vehicles in stock and ready for delivery. Or place a custom order on select Ford vehicles, so much. lock in your rate, and you're protected. I'm proud of you, kid. And that's how Ford is helping you shine bright. This season, choose FlexBuy on a 2022 Ford Escape or Edge and get 0% APR financing for 66 months. Get everything you need to protect your vehicle from winter weather at Menards. Shell Zone 5050 Antifreeze and Coolant guards against freezing and boil over. It provides critical protection against corrosion and is now just $5.99. Save on our great selection of Railback batteries and stock up for everyday use or those battery powered Christmas gifts. Save big money on all Railback high energy batteries. Plus, a Menards gift card is always a great gift idea. Warm season's greetings to you all from Menards. Hey, there's my girl. Mm. Who's that? Life can be uncomfortable. Your home doesn't have to be. Whether you're looking for all the advanced features or something with a lower upfront cost, with Bream Heating Equipment, you can stay comfortable even in the most uncomfortable situations. Oh, come on. Yes, let's go. Feel the Woolers difference. Call Woolers Heating and Air Conditioning today. Serving Dane County for over 45 years. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors for 35 years. InventHelp has helped over 10,000 inventors get patents. You can meet with an InventHelp representative who will keep your idea confidential and explain their invention process step by step. And InventHelp's data bank includes over 9,000 companies who have agreed to review new ideas. Take action and get the help you need from InventHelp. 800-550-5543. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. And welcome back, folks. We're going to start things off with our weekend forecast. We're going to be looking at temperatures going into around 26 degrees for our Saturday. But as we head into Sunday, it's going to be around 22 for us. We are looking for our final opportunity to get some sunshine by the time we get into our Sunday as well. But the one thing we're going to be watching for is that partly sunny skies will start to roll in. But we're also going to be seeing snow showers right, really going to be early into our Saturday morning. But outside of that, it's going to be very minimal once we, those snow showers start to clear up, especially once we get into the rest of our Saturday and heading into our Sunday as well. Now, one thing we're going to be watching for is that we are going to be looking at those temperatures to really start to drop once we get into the rest of the day. But outside of that, we're going to be looking at, uh, excuse me, we're going to be seeing over time, <laughs> we will be looking at what the system is. We're going to be seeing the system really start to still continue to bring in a bit more some snow showers as we get into the rest of our day. But over time, we're going to be looking at the colder temperatures rolling in as well. So as we continue, 
This is what we're seeing as of right now. On our radar, we do have some light snow showers that are still trying to bring in a little bit of some snow throughout the rest of this evening, but it's going to be broken up for us. As we continue to look along what we're seeing, well, things are going to still be onto the, <laughs> onto the quieter side of things. Now, as we walk in over the next three hours, we are looking for a bit of some snow showers to continue into the northern parts of southern Wisconsin, but it's still going to be rather cold. Below freezing temperatures are going to be steady and sustained throughout the course of the day. As we head into the overnight, Nights, we're looking for the snow to mainly be north of Madison instead of here in our area. But we could still hold on to a couple of flurries, but they're not going to be amounting to much. And as we roll into our Saturday morning, it's going to be cold. It's going to be a bit breezy and light flurries are going to be possible. But mainly the snow showers themselves will be into the northeastern side of things for our southern Wisconsin. And once we get into our evening hours, we're looking for the snow to pretty much be all done for southern Wisconsin itself. Breezy, cloudy. We're not looking for that to break up until we get into our sun. Sunday. So watch this development. Temperatures will be into the teens once we start a Sunday morning. Cloud cover in itself is going to break up. Once we get into around the noon hour, we're actually going to be looking at plenty of sunshine for areas from Platteville all the way towards Madison. But then it's going to resurge just a bit in terms of cloud cover. But then once we get into our Sunday nights, we have a bit of a nice little surprise for us. Temperatures will be in the single digits, but at least it's going to be a clear night, right? We've got to look at the silver lining of things. Once we get into Sunday nights, we're going to see clear skies and temperatures falling into the single digits, and any kind of snow is going to be very minimal. One thing we're going to be watching for, your first warn is some uncertainty going into next week. We are looking for potentially a system that will be bringing in quite a bit of snowfall for us here in Wisconsin and into the upper Midwest, but that's just one run. The other run is not bringing too much snow. It's bringing a little bit, but not nearly as much as the others. So that's something we're going to be watching for and also going to ask you to make sure that you are going to be watching and staying up to date with the weather over the next few days. Here's a look at our holidays. Hanukkah is going to be a cold one, but at least we got some sunshine. Temperatures will be in the 20s, and then we will gradually start to get even colder. Single digits in the overnights are going to be a common thing for the next nine days. And on top of it, next week, we're seeing the teens and overnight temperatures. That's right, below zero. Unseasonable cold temperatures are going to be for next week because we're typically around 30 degrees, daytime highs, and 15 mm. overnight. So we're really going to be seeing cold temperatures going into the holidays. I will stay in my apartment. Okay. <laughs> Thank Make sure you got the fireplace on. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Julian. Julian. For military service members stationed abroad and their families, the holidays can be particular, particularly a stark reminder of that service and sacrifice. Karen Kafa visits with some organizations seeking to bridge long distances and provide a little comfort with the sounds of the season. The holiday season has a certain ring to it. And striking a certain chord can make a long distance connection seem a little closer. The one that always gets me a silent night, it just make, brings tears to your eyes. On a recent evening at the Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts in Washington, an audience of active duty service members, military families, and military veterans enjoyed a free holiday concert by the National Symphony Orchestra, featuring Tony Award winner Laura Benanti, and including classics like I'll Be Home for Christmas. My brother-in-law, my sister's husband, was a Marine and who was in Afghanistan, and I often think of him when I sing that song, and it's very moving to be able to sing for people who aren't necessarily able to be together during Christmas. I remember how hard that was for my sister. The U.S. military has its own musical traditions and long-standing ensembles, like the United States Marine Band, the president's own, which accompanied the unveiling of this year's White House holiday decorations. Violinist Derek Powell played with the United States Army Band, Zone before joining the National Symphony Orchestra. No matter where you're from in the U.S., you probably, or even around the world, you hear a lot of these songs and it brings you back to a time or place. That familiarity can be powerful for service members stationed abroad and their families at home. From personal experience, being deployed during the holidays was one of the, the toughest times as I was away from family and what I was used to. After nearly 25 years of military service, Christopher Plamp now heads up USO Entertainment, which has presented programs for U.S. troops abroad since the 1940s. He says the virtual era provides new opportunities via video and mobile apps that can reach beyond 
their in-person events. We make sure that we're providing entertainment around the world uh, to the service members no matter where they are, but also just through our holiday programming. Um, last year, we had over 2,500 different holiday events all around the world. And Nancy says she can't put herself in the position of those serving abroad or missing a loved one this holiday season, but she can be part of that longtime tradition of music bringing a little joy. If there's a little joy, a little glimmer of happiness, you know, that we can bring people, then that makes me feel, I, I just feel really grateful to have the opportunity to do that. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa. Music makes everything better, mm -hmm. I think. Well, coming up next on Live at 4, we get a sneak peek at this weekend's holiday blockbuster, Avatar 2. And then at 5, Miss America is a UW-Madison student. Mm -hmm. Catherine Merck spoke with the newest member of American royalty. Gosh, wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Annette and I'm an actress. Under eye bags and wrinkles are so frustrating. They're so hard to hide and so hard to get rid of. I came across Plexiderm and I was so excited. We have a model, his name is Richie, and all he's doing is taking a small amount. It's so powerful, that's all it takes. And what I love about Plexiderm is this is something that you can do in the convenience of your own home. And I did this to my father, we were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags and let me tell you, we were so excited in under 10 minutes they visibly disappeared from view and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines he calls me every single month saying hey annette i'm out of plexiderm please send me more it's a cream it's a topical it literally creates an invisible layer that tightens the skin and smooths it out all you do is gently rub it underneath your eyes on your fine lines and wrinkles and it visibly disappears in as little as 10 minutes my real true opinion is holy Words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. It looks even better. I can't even believe that this worked. I was a little skeptical. I am not going to lie because I saw people online with it. And I'm like, yeah, right. That can't possibly work. I'm telling you, it really works. I thought I might see a little difference, but to see that big of a difference, I have so many dark circles. I have the puffiness. I have the lines. Like, it's amazing. You have an event, you have any of those moments where you want to feel the best about yourself, I am telling you, the videos that you see on social media and TV are real. This holiday season is the best time to try Plexiderm at our startup price of only $14.95. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Non-attorney spokesperson. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by Nightline Legal. Cases assigned on a random basis to participating law firms. If you or a loved one were stationed at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune between 1953 and 1987 and were later diagnosed with cancer, Parkinson's disease, or other serious health effects, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. Call right now to find out if you qualify. Call 1-800-336-0524. 1-800-336-0524. And coming up tonight, we'll look at the results of the audit in Sun Prairie's election, sitting down with the city clerk. We'll be tracking some light snow showers that could make a little bit of an impact for your travel conditions heading into the rest of our evening. We'll be breaking down what more to expect for the rest of tonight, coming up tonight at 5. And ahead at 6, Miss America is a Badger student. Grace Stanky shares her journey and future plans with us tonight at 6. Look at that. Never been there, have you? I have not. Mm -mm. It looks really nice. It, and 50 degrees there? We'll take that. We'll take that. And see, it's always good Gorgeous. when you have a Charlotte. Yes. <laughs> Well, 13 years have passed since James Cameron first took movie audiences to the world of Avatar. A new generation of filmmaking and performers is taking us back to Pandora in its sequel. Rick DiMagella reports.
making the sequel to James Cameron's Avatar started where most films do. It all starts with the script that Jim wrote with universal themes. His family is at the center of our story. But what Jim does is he takes these universal themes and sets them against extraordinary backdrops. The oceans of Pandora, there's nothing more extraordinary than that. Bringing the world of Avatar The Way of Water to life evolved from the original film. We couldn't just come out with the same tech. We couldn't come out with the same um, performance or characters. So um, this one, we really had to push the boundaries of what we felt we could even do. The way of water connects all things. We started over. We wiped out everything we did on the first film. We said everything's going to be done different. Everything's going to be done in a more physically correct way. We wanted the water to be correct. We wanted the performances to be so much more than they were. Those performances include a new generation of actors. After seeing the movie especially, because I didn't get the chance, I was so young when it came out that I didn't see it in theaters, but now seeing Avatar The Way of Water in theaters, I'm realizing, wow, what a world builder. No one has built a world the way Jim has built Pandora. I see you. In Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. Hmm. That looks amazing. It does. And Kate Winslet had to hold her breath for seven minutes while making that film. Oh, wow. That's what the, what the talk is, at wow. least. Seven minutes. Yeah. Coming up next on Live at Four. Oh, geez, we've got a special guest in store for you. <laughs> from, the, from Manitowoc, you wouldn't believe. And there is not a man who loves the Midwest more. Charlie Barons joins the show when we return. difference in a small town where family values still hold true. Welcome to the Portage Furniture Store. Well, we ventured back to Portage and look at who we found, the two Ayers brothers, Austin and Aaron. It's good to see you guys. Welcome back. So how is business? How is life? Business has been great, you know, it's been very busy, uh, busy for both of us, a couple new kiddos in the, you know, in the past year, so no, but business has been, has been doing great. I know you really want to give a, sh a shout out to all of the people around this area that shop local, that choose to come right here to Cook Street to see the two of you. Obviously, first and foremost, we're so appreciative of our customers and there's just been such a strong sentiment to shop local, shop small, support family business and you know I guess with the inventory we've been very blessed. We've got a packed showroom, trucks coming in every week. We've really, uh, we're, we're running out of places to put everything. We're, we're in good shape. <laughs> I feel like there's such a difference in the customer's mood when they walk in. They don't have that anxious feeling of, oh gosh, here comes the salesperson coming over to talk to me. Yeah. Why is that so different here? We put a major emphasis on no pressure shopping. Our salespeople, they're fantastic. They're gonna be there when you need them, but they're gonna let you, you know, try everything out and they're gonna leave you alone and let you relax. So all these years later, the big question is there still the Portage Furniture free delivery? Yep, absolutely. Still the free delivery. Gonna bring it right into your home, set it up, make it perfect for you. They'll even cook you dinner or sing a song for you if you need. They're, they're just fantastic. <laughs> That's that small, local, family feel, business mentality. Absolutely. You just, you can't replicate it, right? We are the Ayers family. From the Portage Furniture Store, I'm Emmy Fink, and you're buzzed into Madison. Need life insurance? Select Quote found Jacob, 40, a $500,000 policy for only $19 a month. And Select Quote found his wife, Wendy, a $500,000 policy for only $17 a month. Our secret? At Select Quote, we aggressively comparison shop up to 10 highly rated companies to find you the company with the best rates. Why pay more? Give your family the security they need at a price you can afford. Select Quote. We shop, you save. Many of us are feeling the economic crunch, and News 3 Now wants to help those who are in need this holiday season. News 3 Now and SSM Health presents the 12 Days of Giving. Through the tremendous generosity of area businesses and volunteers, we want to make 12 wishes come true. If you're in need or know someone who is or may want to help make a wish come true, go to channel3000.com and fill out the application. News 3 Now's 12 Days of Giving, presented by SSM Health. 
And just a quick update on our traffic along the Beltline. East side is where we're looking at a lot of the slow spots as of right now, especially onto the ramp from 151. So if you're going to be hopping on the Beltline, just make sure you're taking it slow and be prepared for any traffic delays. Over to you guys. Thanks, Julian. Oh, holy smokes. Charlie <laughs> Barron's is uh, going to be coming back to his old college stomping mm -hmm. ground this weekend to give the winter's UW commencement speech. Well, we caught him mm. just after that meat raffle, you Don't know, you yesterday. Know. But he was so happy to talk about what it's like to be the unofficial ambassador of the Midwest, hey? You betcha. Oh, geez, Louise, it's Charlie Barron's. How are you? Oh, I'm doing just fine. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, you know, <laughs> real good here. <laughs> oh, you know, no, I don't. Tell me, you know, or no. We could go on and on with this. Yeah, there's a couple, two, three things we got to talk about here, you know. So you're going to be coming back here. How does it feel to come back to your alma mater? I'm it, honestly, it's just a, it's a crazy honor uh, to, to do that. You know, you look at all like the notable people that have graduated from UW and uh, you're like, wow, I, you know, I better not screw the pooch on this one. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> well, one thing I love about you is, I mean, you've really embraced uh, being from Wisconsin, being a Midwesterner. Um, you know, a lot of people try to escape their roots, but you've made a whole career out of it. What would your advice be to students who, as they enter the workforce, what would your advice be to them about embracing who they are and not running away from who they are? Yeah, you know, I think it is uh, a lot of diving down and finding out, you know, really just kind of what, what lights you up, what what makes you you, and that could be uh, where you're from or whatever it is. For me, that's what it was. I love Wisconsin. I love comedy. That lit me up, and, and I, I kind of just embraced it, and when I did, you know, everything happened from that point mm -hmm. and that was after spending a lot of years like 10 years you know trying to be really something i wasn't and um and you can find success doing something you're not passionate about and you can find success doing something you're passionate about so you know you might as well uh, do the thing you're passionate about or at least give it a go you know charlie what kind of pearls of wisdom do you plan to share with the graduates Oh, geez, Louise, you know, <laughs> I, I wrote the speech. I'm feeling good about it, but it, really it's um, it's a lot about taking chances, you know, and I think when I first graduated, I was very concerned about what my peers thought about me, you know, and that was in an age when we weren't even posting as much stuff on social media, but we were starting to. And I think sort of a trap people can get in is that they, um, they care so much about what people think and they want to post it and it, or, or show it. And so you're, you're trying to be something you're not almost off the top. And I think nobody really cares what you're doing. So you might as well sort of do what you love and see where that takes you, you know, and not worry if you're not making a lot of money right off out the gate. I certainly wasn't. I was doing odd jobs, weird things. And uh, I mean, weird things. I just mean weird jobs. Nothing too, <laughs> nothing too weird, okay? But, you know, it's just it, life is fun. And uh, I think it's about finding that fun and, and finding your true self. And sometimes we can we can lose lose our way, especially early on. Well, and while you're here, I believe you're signing your book, and it's all kind of a, a survival guide about being from the Midwest. Um, you're kind of an ambassador yeah. of the Midwest now. How do you feel about that title? <laughs> well, look, I mean, truthfully, what uh, my comedy uh, is is it. I'm not inventing this stuff. Uh, you know, like uh, when I say watch out for deer, I didn't invent that. You know, uh, uh, my grandpa used to say that to me, you know, and, and we I know what it means. It means I, I love you in a lot of ways. But or like tell your folks, I says I, I didn't, you know, invent that. You know, that's just what I heard growing up. So it, I actually borrowed a lot from journalism, which I majored at UW for my comedy. Uh, and, and in journalism, you shine a light on something. And that's kind of, I think, what I've done with certain aspects of the Midwest. But if people like my stuff, they, they're really not liking it for me. They're liking it because they like where they came from. And that that is what I like about my comedy is that I don't see it as being really about me, but I see it as being about the Midwest, and I love the Midwest. So, Charlie, last question. What is the number one thing, if you can pick it, that you love about Wisconsin? Oh, jeez. <laughs> you know, it's either the people or the walleyes, and I'm oh. going to have to get back to you on that. Yeah. I, you know, I'm not going to make you choose. Yeah. You know, too that's tough. too hard. That's too hard. 
Well, we are being told to wrap up. Should we do a Midwest goodbye? Well, well you know, I, I suppose. suppose it's about <laughs> that time. Uh, but if, if you guys need uh, any meat, I did just win the meat raffle, so I got some. Oh, okay. good. I also got some freezer per perch if you're interested. Okay. We'll get some coffee and bars ready for you. <laughs> Oh, that'd be great. Dream bars, or what do you got going? Snickerdoodles? What's yes, going on? Snickerdoodles. We love the snickerdoodles. Mm. I mean, how can you oh, not? Oh, good. So, okay, I, Charlie. Yeah. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you very much. Oh, yep. Yeah, well, I suppose. All right, take care now. <laughs> All right, take good care there. <laughs> Bye-bye now. Okay, real good. <laughs> <laughs> what a blast. Yeah. What a blast. It felt like we were talking to family. That's I know. how a lot of my that family is, sounds. That is so wonderful. Can I come home with you yes. and your family? That's great. We'll have coffee and bar uh, bars. Fest, okay. Maybe. Yes. You're brave. Specialize in that. Okay, so we talked about the book signing. So the University Bookstore is going to host a book signing event with Charlie following the UW Madison winter commencement. He will be signing his book, The Midwest Survival Guide, which will be given to all graduates from the class of 2020. Barron's graduated from UW-Madison in 2009, where he studied journalism. Now, that book signing is at 2 p.m. at University Books on State Street. And we'll be right back with Julian's forecast after this break. Your family's year-round comfort is our year-round commitment at RG Heating and Air Conditioning. We install quality train equipment and service all brands so your home's furnace and AC will perform their best year-round. RG Heating and AC. It's Steinhoffel's Winter Mattress Sale. Now's the time to snuggle up with a new Beautyrest mattress. Queen Beautyrest mattresses start at just $449 and get $200 in Steinhoffel's cash when you upgrade to the new redesigned Beautyrest Black. More luxurious and comfortable than ever. Get comfy and pay only $49 a month for a Beautyrest Black Queen mattress with Steinhoffel's 72-month financing. The Winter Mattress Sale, only at Steinhoffel's and Steinhoffel's.com. Are you waking up in the morning with a sore jaw, headaches, maybe even ringing in your ears, all because you're grinding and clenching your teeth at night? That's exactly what was going on with me. That's when I found this, the Brux Night Guard. Now the Brux Night Guard redirects the bite force away from the back teeth, reducing jaw pain while still protecting the teeth. This unique design is what makes Brux Night Guard different from all other traditional grind guards. Go to BruxNightGuard.com and order yours today. I'm News 3 Now's Josh Spreider. I'm visiting the people, places, and events that make this area one of a kind. Tell me what inspires you, and it might be featured on News 3 Now This Morning. In the 608, weekdays on News 3 Now This Morning. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. RG Heating and AC. We'll always treat you like family. Guaranteed. Post-November, local election workers addressed some hiccups before the spring elections. And after a bit of a losing streak, we sit down with the man who's been tapped to give Wisconsin Republicans a fresh start. That's coming up at 5. Be prepared for winter weather. Trust the First Warn Weather Team to give you clear, timely, and accurate info. Keeping you safe and ahead of the storms. Your certified, most accurate team. First Warn Weather. Only on News 3 Now. A breakdown of the forecast in the days ahead are three things we'll need to know. Sunshine will return this weekend, finally, and we're looking at cold stretch ahead as well as unseasonably cold temperatures will stick around. Then we are watching for a possible storm system just before the holidays. Mr. Gnome, you look tired. It's exhausting going from one holiday sale to another, but not at Bob's Discount Furniture, where you can get this four-piece cottage chic sectional for only $19.99, and it comes in two colors, so you can holiday the Bob's way. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line? 
you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors for 35 years. InventHelp has helped over 10,000 inventors get patents. You can meet with an InventHelp representative who will keep your idea confidential and explain their invention process step by step. And InventHelp's data bank includes over 9,000 companies who have agreed to review new ideas. Take action and get the help you need from InventHelp. 800-550-5543. It's Globetrotter game time. Get ready for the Harlem Globetrotters 2023 World Tour. Presented by Jersey Mike Subs. All new, non-stop action, amazing basketball skills, four-point shots, high-flying dunks, and more. Get tickets for the whole family, where you can be part of the action. Playing Alliant Energy Center on December 30th. Go to HarlemGlobetrotters.com. Feast your eyes on one of my best-selling dining sets. Rustic style meets incredible value in my seven-piece Montana dining set. Available in dining height or counter height. Thanks to Bob's discount, it's only $9.99 either way. Holiday the Bob's way. It's been a long, snowy week for Louie and Oliver. You know, well, Mark is off living his best life on the high seas. Mm -hmm, but don't fret. Just because Mark is gone doesn't mean they're off. Here's this week's edition of the News Hounds. Here's the News Hounds, Louie and Oliver, with their World News Roundup. This week on the News Hounds, a polar bear enjoys his time in the snow. Some of the animals at the London Zoo see more snow than they've ever seen. And six giant panda cubs. But first, it's a horse holiday. Students at the Oakland School gave their hardworking horses a holiday treat on Tuesday. It marks the 33rd annual horse holiday with students dressing themselves, the horses, and a goat in holiday outfits. The parade ended at a Christmas tree covered in carrots and apples for the animals to eat. Riding instructor Sarah Bailey says what the students learn in the barn translates to the classroom. Oakland teaches students with learning differences like dyslexia and ADHD. The school uses different outdoor opportunities for teaching. Nikita, a polar bear at Salt Lake City's Hogel Zoo, was spotted making snow angels. The zoo closed for a snow day on Tuesday after the area received more than 10 inches of snow, according to the National Weather Service. Video posted by the Hogel Zoo shows the bear rolling around in the Salt Lake City snow. The zoo said that the polar bear is equipped with water repellent fur to shake off water or ice and small ears and tail to prevent heat loss, helping the animal thrive in a cold environment. A monkey with a snowball? Eh, no good can come of this. These squirrel monkeys at ZSL London Zoo are enjoying the first snow many have ever seen. Unnaturally curious, the monkeys investigate their snow-covered enclosure, playing with the snowballs keepers made for them. Monkeys aren't the only zoo animals enjoying the snow in the capital. Otters were in full voice as they played in the snow. One animal who's perfectly adapted for any climate is the Bactrian camel. Keeper Mick Tiley says the camels even prefer to sleep outside in the snow rather than inside in their stables. Camels have two sets of eyelashes to keep snow from their eyes and have thick, muscular nostrils, which they can seal shut against even the worst of elements. Six giant panda cubs were born this year at Kinling Giant Panda Research Center in Northwest China's Shanxi province. It's the most in a year since the center was founded in 2003. The healthy cubs, who were all bred through artificial insemination, include two pairs of twins. Since 2003, the breeding program at Kinling Giant Panda Research Center has produced 38 pandas from 32 births, with 2022 being the first year with two sets of twins. The Kinling Giant Panda is a subspecies of giant panda, which was first recognized as a distinct subspecies in 2005. It has a smaller and rounder skull, shorter snout, and less fur than the more familiar Chishuan subspecies. 
Sean Z began artificially breeding kindling giant pandas in the 1980s with a total of 36 giant pandas raised in the province through artificial breeding. And that's this week's edition of the News Hounds. Leave it to Louie and Oliver to keep the lights on while Mark's I away. I know. I think it's Martini time, as mm. I've been seeing on Facebook for him. I think so. we deserve a Martini. Yes. Well, thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful weekend. News 3 Now at 5 starts right now.